Uh, I'm Kazuhiro Ichikawa. I'm from the University of Tokyo, Japan. Today, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, today, I will talk about syntax extension systems and the name bindings. Hmm. I think everyone knows type lambda calculus. Uh, look at this type judgment, this, this type judgment. This is read, this is read as uh, an expression E has type T2 under the assumption gamma and X colon T1. Here, X colon T1 means a, a variable X has type T1 in the expression E. Here, we can consider X colon T1 expresses that a variable X of type T1 is available in, in, the, in the expression E. Uh, this, is, this, this is a type judgment, type, type judgment rule for left expressions. According to that type, according to this type judgment rule, uh, a let expression can be typed under gamma if an uh, expression E2 can be typed uh, under gamma and X con T1. In other words, in the expression E, in the expression E2, we can use a uh, variable X in addition to variable of current scope. Hmm. A variable X in the type environment can be regarded as a, can be regarded as a getter operator, get, getter operator of a, bar, of a value named X. So why don't you extend the type environment to cover the setter operator as well as getter operators? Now, look at this type judgment. This type judgment. Here, X colon T1 expresses getter operator. And X colon underscore blah, blah, blah is, uh, expresses setter operator. And underscore, the underscore symbol denotes, denotes an operand. Yeah. This type judgment expresses that yeah. uh, uh, this type judgment expresses that we can use the setter and get uh, getter and setter operator in the expression E. By introducing this idea, we can naturally define the meaning of let expressions. See this rule. Uh, this rule. A let expression can be typed under gamma if the expression E2 can be typed under gamma x colon T1 and x colon uh, x equal blah blah. This notation also expresses that getta x and theta x equal underscore are available in the expression E2. We have further explored the idea in the previous page. We use this idea to implement a user-defined operator that introduces a new name binding. To the same, we propose turn style types. Our idea is very simple. Just rewrite the notation gamma turn style e colon t. Uh, our new notation is e colon gamma turn style t. The meaning is the same, but now gamma turn style t is a type. A benefit of our uh, turn style type is that a type a type can directly specify 
uh, available variables in a restricted scope. Remember, we have allowed not only getters, but also setters or other operators available in gamma. So programmers can define a new operator introducing a new name binding. For example, let the expressions. And this name bindings is type checked. You may wonder how to evaluate a trans style type expression. This is a reduction rule for trans style types. A trans style type expression E is translated into a lambda expression, <coughs> lambda s dot e. So it behaves as a function t1 r o t2. Here, yes. Uh, uh, uh. For example, e2 is a tungsten type expression shown in previous page. <coughs> previous this one, uh, this one. It is translated into a lambda expression, lambda x equal underscore dot e2, by eliminating assumption, this, as, this assumption. And the lambda expression also translated into this lambda expression by eliminating this, this assumption. So the tungsten type expression E2 behaves as a function T1 RO, T1 RO unit, RO T2. Hmm. We have implemented a programming language supporting this <coughs> proposal. We have named the language ProTJ2. In ProTJ2, users can define new language constructs invo involving a new name binding in a type safe fashion. ProTJ2 is a Java-based programming language that supports very flexible user-defined operators. ProTJ2 also provides features called DSL class and generic names. And they, they help users to, to define their own language, language, language constructs involving name bindings. The compiler of ProTJ is available from our GitHub. User-defined operator in ProTJ2 are function or method with their own syntax. Look at this example. This example. And this, this is a definition of the, of the operator x and x equal underscore. This is get operator and set operator for x. Yeah. The first int or void is return type. And the following, following part here and here, it denotes the syntax of the operator. And parenthesized part is a parameter list. And the last curly braced part is the operator body. Syntax of an operator consists of name parts and name parts and operands. A name part is a symbol for identifying the operator. Double double quoted string such as x and, and echo is a name part. And the underscore denotes the operand. An operand, an operand takes an expression with the corresponding type that is specified in parameter list. 
So this operand takes int expression. The key feature of our user-defined operator is that operator are overloaded by both return type and parameter types. An operator is available only at an expression where the return type is expected. So in Protej2, types work as non-terminal symbol. From here, we show how to implement let expressions in Protej2. For easy to understand, we, we, first show, we first show the implementation of let expressions that bind the fixed name x, let x expressions. In Protege2, get the x and set the x, set the x equal underscore this, uh, these operators, these operators are defined as uh, instance operators of a DSL class. A DSL, uh, here is a definition of a DSL class bar x. This op uh, a DSL class consists of operators and constructor and fields. It is similar to class in Java. Uh, and these, uh, these are the definition of get and setters. This is a get and this is a setter. Then the syntax of let expressions is declared as an operator. This is the definition of the operator. This is Here, E2 has the type bar x t1 turn style t2. This is a turn style type in protege 2 uh, Note that gamma, he, uh, this one, gamma is not appeared in this definition. In protege 2 gamma is omitted in the operator definition because it is barbarous. The parameter E2 of turn style type behaves as a function. So bar, bar x t1 turn style t2 works as bar, bar x t1 arrow t2. But the bar x object cons uh, contains implementations of get and setter. So th uh, they are used for evaluating E2. They refer, they refer to E1 as an initial value of x be because the con uh, E1 is passed to new constructor of bar x. So, uh, so this, uh, so this definition of let x expression works works correct. Mm. To recon recognize arbitrary names given by users. Names can be parameterized in protej2. This is an example. Here, x colon ident is parameterized name. X is a name of the parameterized name called genic names. Ident is a type of a name. Similarly, we can relate DSL class definition using generic name. This DSL class bar takes a generic name x as a type parameter. 
instance operators x and x equal underscore uh, uses the generic name x as a part of syntax. Here, a part of syntax x takes an expression of ident. It is because x has a type ident. The compiler checks whether the expression for x is identical to the type argument given to var. Note that the compiler checks just the AFT of generic name, not the value of the expression. The value of the expression of generic name is never, evalu is never evaluated. This is for avoiding infinite, infinite execution at compile time. In ProTJ2, ident is a normal class type rather than meta type or primitive type. Users can define a class ident and the syntax for ident. This is an example of the definition of the, def uh, the syntax of ident. It defines operators recognizing each alphabet A to Z here, and operators recognizing one or more alphabet, one alphabet and one or more alphabet. Literal here, literal indicates that the syntax does not recognize white spaces, uh, white space characters as a separator. We show you, we show you several use cases of our turnstile types. The most simple example is uh, is lambda expressions. This is the definition x colon t1 arrow, and arrow underscore the, here is the, is the syntax of lambda expressions. x is generic name and t1 is a type parameter. The, the operand f, the operand f has turn style type, turn style type so the variable x, variable x of type T1 is available at this operand. The, param the parameter f of turnstile type, var uh, turnstile T2, behaves as a function var arrow T2 in, a, in the operator body. So the task of the operator body is just translating a function ber, ber arrow t2 into the function t2 arrow t, t2 arrow t1. Yeah. We use, we use, in this example, we use anonymous classes for simplifying the program, but we have not implemented it yet. Anaphoric if is a well-known language construct that is often implemented by unhygienic macros. It, is, it can be also implemented in ProTJ in a type safe fashion. This is a definition. It is almost the same as the definition of let x expression. The difference is only that it does not nothing it, it does nothing if the given value is now. Try with resources statement are a language construct in Java. We can implement try with resource statements by extending the definition of let expressions. The 
the difference between try with lethal statement and let expression is that the the resource type is restricted into a subclass of auto closable. The return type is fixed to void. <coughs> void. And bound, bound type, uh, bound variable is immutable, so setter is, uh, there is no setter. And it calls close method at the end of evaluate, evaluation. Hmm. Four expressions are a good example for showing power over our turnstile type. Four, four expressions bind the name X for iteration. The bound name X is available at the three parts. Uh, here, and here and here. Hmm. Uh, Protej2 can express the, this name binding by using turnstile types for each parameter. Look at this code. This code defines four expressions. The four expressions takes four operands one, two, three, four. Yeah. 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 Initial value of X, uh, condition expressions, and update expressions, and body uh, operator uh, iteration body. Protej, uh, uh, Condition expression, update expression, and iteration body has, turn style, has a turnstile type. Ber tx turnstile boolean uh, or, or you know. mm. so so the uh, a variable x of type t is available at the at uh, these part these operands in the operator body the parameter uh, the parameters cond update body takes the same same variable bar same argument bar so the name x refers the same variable To pass a program that uses turnstile types, the ProTJ compiler adopts top-down context-sensitive parsing. In ProTJ2, the left-hand side of turnstile expresses available syntax. Note, uh, note that available syntax in an, in an expression is also available in sub-expressions of the expression. Therefore, the parser, re the parser requires the information of available syntax introduced by enclosing, syntax, enclosing expressions for parsing. Our in uh, so, uh, the per Parsing algorithm is top-down context-sensitive parsing. Our, in, our implementation is based on packet parsing, a packet parser combinators in Scala. Uh, a programming language Kotlin has a feature, function literals with receiver. Function literals with receiver are a variant of function function details, that is, uh, a lambda expressions. Fun uh, function details with receiver takes their, takes their receiver as a parameter in addition to formal parameters. Members of the receiver are available in the function detail because the fu 
function detail is also a member of the receiver. The function detail can be called as a method of the receiver. This is an example. This this is an example pro program. Uh, this is an example program using function details with a receiver. Uh, with a receiver. And this type. This type denotes the, this. Uh, this parameter is a function detail that can be called as if it is a method of an. Uh, instance of HTML. Uh, so the methods in the HTML class are available in the function function detail passed, passed to the HTML method. So we can write this uh, this program. Function details with receiver can be regarded as transcribed types that only supports limited syntax. Instance eval in Ruby is similar system to function details with receiver, but it is not statically typed. Uh, yeah. In this presentation, we propose transtile types. Uh, we have developed ProTJ2 supporting our proposal. And thank you for your attention. based on user-defined operators. So uh, 
it is it is type safe. Uh, in <laughs> yeah. We don't like macro. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, thanks again.